Hello, everyone. Thank you for coming. Uh, my name is uh, Philip Glodkov, and I'm CEO at Pixonic Company. First of all, I would like to make a short intro to our company. Uh, Pixonic was based in 2009 uh, in Moscow. We have three offices, uh, headquarters uh, based in Moscow, and two smaller offices in Belgrade and Berlin. Currently, we employ then 100 people, and uh, I would like to mention our course core approach to business. It's an uh, analytic approach to solving problems and uh, attitude to games as a service. It means that we make constant updates during several years to entertain our players and um, improve uh, gaming experience. And uh, some words about our product that allowed us to grow so quickly. Uh, War Robots we changed the name from the Walking War Robots, just to shorten it, uh, was released uh, in April 2014. All the data you can see at the slide, uh, uh, one thing I want to mention, that we almost doubled these numbers last month, I mean uh, numbers of revenue. The DIU uh, stayed the same. So this is a MMO uh, online shooter game where you play six versus six. So, um, Fast growth comes with issues. Uh, in my experience, I came, uh, I came across the fact that when we launched War Robots, uh, it had great metrics, but uh, I needed a team to develop it. So the team costed money, uh, and we, don't, uh, we didn't have money at that time, and our office was uh, way too small. Uh, this is a vicious circle when you don't have money, uh, when you have great product and uh, when your marketing arrives are nice, but you can do nothing. Uh, we suffered for, from slow growth for several months, uh, as well as a weak brand awareness, because experts were simply afraid to join the company they knew little about. So the first thing uh, I needed to get over is the lack of money. Uh, I. Uh, I looked to the market, and there were three options. First of all, it's investments. Uh, investments is fine, but if you rely on the VCs, uh, you will experience the capital dilution. It's an option, and uh, I worked on it, but also I looked at the market for the, um, another options. Second one is uh, cre credit lo uh, and loans, but banks didn't actually understand our model. And, uh, yeah, banks don't understand model of the games. They are pretty afraid of it. And uh, the last part is uh, factoring. Uh, it helps us to reinvest in tremendous speed. The problem is that uh, when you have a product and you invest 50k dollars, you can get 100k back, but in period of 50 uh, of 45 days due to lag in the payout of the App Store. So uh, that's why. This kind of rec uh, recycling uh, helps us to grow fast. Um, now, when you have product, you have team, and you have a cash flow, you can think about growing your company from zero to one million dollar revenue, two million dollar, etc. Uh, I just want to give you several tips uh, that. Uh, will help you to overcome the problems. Because in our experience, there, uh, there was a lot of problems, uh, and some of the tips are quite surprising, even for me, if I told uh, myself them right now. Okay, so uh, the first thing you need to be, uh, uh, to be confident in your product. Don't just uh, take words of your game designers that the product is going to be awesome. Uh, it's not right. You need uh, to have a reliable system on, of analytics so to be confident in numbers. Uh, the same comes to marketing, because you need to understand whether marketing is efficient or, if, uh, uh, or not. Um, uh, in Pixonic, we try to launch uh, our product as early as possible to understand basic metrics. We forget everything except uh, retention of the first hour and first day. After this, we monitor players for seven uh, or 14 days. Only then we look at NPU and then at RPPU. The typical mistake of 
hundreds of developers that we spoke with that uh, they try to boost their basic metrics of their game, boost their revenue by adding high-level content, clan content, while their retention rate of the first day uh, is between 10 or 15 percent. This is wrong. Uh, without a product, you can't grow, but without a team, you can't build a product. So the key is training your team. Uh, you need to spend hours and hours explaining your team what is the business value of each feature and try to explain how your business works. Um, so, uh, and don't forget about the things that really matter. Matters. Uh, it's the emotional connection and fun that you and your team creates for players. Uh, so, if everyone in your team understands what he's doing and why, there is no chance when uh, wrong features come to the final product. Uh, also, encourage starting new things. Uh, you can provide your team one day free uh, just to look at the new technologies, for example, or new ways of creating stuff. Uh, and be open for changes, because specialists uh, know how to do the product and you need to listen to them. Another important problem that you will experience that when you start with a small team of specialists, I hope this specialist is really, not, is really experts, uh, and then you start to expand your team, you need to think in advance how you will get a team of managers. And whether you will hire them or whether you will teach your specialists to become managers, but don't forget that not all specialists are willing to become managers, because managing people is uh, different work uh, than uh, creating a great product. Uh, this is very important to understand which specialist is going to be manager or not. Okay, so um, marketing, uh, when it comes for marketing your product and you have a great high quality product, marketing is the only way of boosting your revenue. It's the only driver of your revenue. So, first of all, uh, you need to get the analytics system to understand whether your marketing brings you positive revenue and when. So yes, of course, there is a system like Poland VC that will help you uh, to reinvest fast, uh, to get revenue fast. But if you make mistakes in calculation how much money you will get back or when you will get money this back, you can end up in the red. Also, the typical mistake of the 100 studios again, uh, that uh, when they spend all their money on launching uh, product, uh, just to realize that they don't have enough income to cover basic company costs. Uh, market has grown, the CPIs are high. There is no possibility uh, to grow without marketing. Marketing is must have. So you need to think in advance how you will uh, increase your revenue. Uh, only the only exception is that you are an indie developer of several people and you don't uh, need to maintain a, a well-staffed team. Uh, this tip is quite surprising for me, uh, but I would strongly recommend to think about your brand awareness from the start. Of course, when you're a small studio, you don't have enough money for public relations, uh, but there are, there are ways to get uh, into the uh, media sphere. First of all, be open. Share uh, openly your expertise. Uh, in case of the Pixonic, we shared expertise of the PvP gaming, specific of creating the game of our product. And the game de gaming developer community was really uh, impressed by this, and we got nice feedback. Uh, without a company brand, it will be extremely hard to get good experts. As I already told you, that people are simply afraid to join companies they know nothing about. Also, uh, when you have a nice brand, you can speak directly with all the rest developers and uh, find out how they solve problems, so you can move forward much faster. Um, and to continue moving forward, you need to experiment always. So uh, I think that attitude when you create a list of the ideas you want to test and run tests as soon as possible with the lowest resources required is key uh, to get an understanding where you can move, uh, when 
can push your boundaries. Uh, of course, mistakes will happen, but uh, believe me, uh, pr overall profit will cover all the costs much more. Uh, and start with the smallest experiments available, because uh, you teach, uh, you study faster when you make a lot of experiments. Uh, for example, in Pixonic, 20% uh, of revenue comes from Japan, and this is the result of a spontaneous test that our marketing director uh, made uh, to try some traffic in Japan. Uh, and this is a result, uh, uh, and the result is that we have a great presence in the Asian and Japanese markets. So, and again about analytic system. Without analytic system, you can't measure anything and you cannot make uh, nice conclusions whether experiment was fine or not. Okay, thank you, that's, that's all. Uh, if you have questions, I would like to answer them. Thank you.